Stay. Flex of the day. Tank top. This is really annoying. No, showing a little bit of frustration does not indicate anger issues, okay? Okay, that was my fault. Both of those were my fault, okay? It's nothing with the setup, definitely. It's because I'm shaking things. I guess I had a sweaty ass back when I was laying against my fucking chair. I'm kind of tired. I've been trying to wake up a little bit earlier, like 7.30. So I woke up at like 7.40 today and yesterday. But I got like six hours of sleep when I woke up at 7.30. Um yesterday you know i got like more um this night but you know i'm still kind of adjusting a little bit favorite thing of the day you guys can't see that anymore but it's fine i mean my girlfriend i love my girlfriend um yeah You know, today's just been another day. Um, you know, and one thing I've learned since coming back from my break, or, you know, throughout the break, I'm not going to force things. You know, if something doesn't need to be talked about, or, you know, like, I don't even... It's not about me not wanting to talk about something, but if something was as deep as a, a passing thought, there's no need for me to go into a deep dive around the thought. You know, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how much happened today. I just enjoyed playing with my girlfriend, playing games and shit. Um, and yeah, I kind of just want to sleep, so you know, I'll probably eventually I'll post, you know, like when I'm done organizing my room the after results of my room. I haven't posted the before either, but the before and after, just so they'd be on here. Uh, but I have like a little futon thing over there. And you know, it was more there for me to like lay down while I watch stuff on like that TV over there. But honestly, I've like kind of been sleeping in it the past few days. You know, it was, it was hard for me the first few nights like I kept waking up in the middle of the night but um yeah I slept fine last night th slept throughout the night it's it feels like I'm sleeping in my bed you know because it's like basically the same room so it's not like having to adjust to sleeping in a whole new place you know it's the same room it's the same feeling same pillows same sheets same blankets it's just you know it's a wooden frame and then the futon thing and it's a lot lower to the ground. That's one weird thing. It's a lot lower to the ground. So, I don't know. It, it's it's hard to know why I can sense it. But when I lay down in it, I just know I'm lower to the ground. And I don't exactly know why. But I, I, I can just feel it. And of course I know I'm lower to the ground. But, you know. But yeah. One thing I'm grateful for is... um. <clears throat> I'm grateful for um, signs because the only reason I found out about my race <clears throat> was because I saw like signs posted. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> Damn. <clears throat> my God. <clears throat> there were like signs posted around. So I was like, okay, there's a race nearby. And, um, yeah, it's how I knew. 
um, they're still around, you know. The race is going on um, this, sat this Saturday. And I'm not ready for it, you know, I'm not. You know, every time I go out there and run for practice or, you know, whatever, I'm like, it is just gonna be a doozy. But at the same time, I know it won't be that bad because when I, I've been doing it in my prep videos, you guys don't like really see me run, but I track how much I run. Um, when I run three laps around the track, it's 0.75. So if I run four, four laps around, it's, it's a mile. That doesn't seem like a lot and it isn't, um, you know, and I just have to do that two more times and then that's three miles and then that's then that's a 5k but like we'll see you know if I'm familiar with the place because it's a road race if I'm familiar with the place we're running like if I if I know where I start and I know I don't have to know like the whole route you know like, like obviously we're gonna know where to run if I feel like if I know where the end point is and I can kind of, you know, do my best to visualize <clears throat> how far it actually is, I feel like that'll be uh, something that'll work in my favor as far as making it seem like less of a journey. You know, instead of me just like running in a circle a lot, you know, and really focusing on the time, I'm, I, you know, there's a lot more focus on there's the scenery, there's this, there's that, you know. Um, I've been working on, you know, just <clears throat> doing the best I can to not feel my asthma, you know, I've been trying different things and, you know, cause there's three different factors that I've been having to deal with while I run, you know, the overall feeling of my legs, you know, like if they're injured or not, which, you know, typically happens afterwards. But, you know, I've been having to run through a little bit of, you know, just like inconvenient little feelings in my legs. <clears throat> Since, you know, I've ever started running. My asthma, which was a lot worse when I first started. But, you know, yeah. Um, and my actual cardio. You know, like, it's not that bad. Like, I, that's why I signed up for the race in the first place. Because I can run a mile on a treadmill and feel pretty good. You know, but that's a, and I, and I know that a treadmill and, you know, running around is a lot different, right? I feel a lot heavier when I'm running around. Um, I don't know, something about it. What I feel like that might be, though, is, like, the wind. Um, because there's often times where I'm running into wind or with wind about. That's, like, the fourth factor to worry about, the, the environment, you know, whether it's too hot and, you know, my hands are fucking freezing because I forgot gloves or the wind is blowing into me, you know, those are like, yeah, those are the four things I've had to worry about most, but this, it's not really a big worry, I, I run regardless, but as far as my performance, these three, you know, my leg strength, that's what that would be, um, my asthma and my cardio, you know, uh, I, I feel like after this race is done, and I have another race coming the month after, I'm gonna know a bit more of how to train smart, you know, because what I used to do, or what I was doing before I like, started trying to do it every day and, you know, take it seriously, I would pick, I would go to the track and I would just like run, like a lot, you know, and of course my legs would hurt like the next day and like a few days after that and I'd recover. But that's, you know, like, that's that that's endurance you know it's also cardio it depends on if you keep the pace up but you know I'd injure myself um you know there were other times where you know I'd run around my town like I just picked a place and I started running and I was like I'm just gonna run till I get home but I can't take the path that I took to get to that starting point you know like like I can't backtrack or, or anything like that you know, so I might be like confused on a few streets and then I see a street I remember. And I'm like, okay, here I am. Then I'm on the other side of town. And then, you know, like there was last time I did that. And the only time I really did that 
um, you know, I like ran by a cemetery. So like, I, I stopped by there and I was like, you know, just looking at everybody. And honestly, it was kind of a nice time, you know, just paying my condolences, even though I, you know, didn't know any of the people at the cemetery. But right then I get out and I'm like, shit, it's a lot further than I thought. You know, I made it home, but you know. Um, I mean, yeah, that's probably like the best for training, but it's hard to track distance that way. So, you know, just cause, you know, I feel like it's a lot, it, it's a bit more demanding on your legs, you know, like there's a lot more directional movements. Like you could be going uphill, could be stepping around rocks. You could be, you know, hopping over things, you know, so that's probably best for like foot and leg strength, which I really want to work on, um, you know, and after I have some time, you know, like after both of my races, that's kind of what I plan on doing, you know, um, when I do run, it's going to be, I'm going to run a lot rep less because I'm going to, I'm going to finish my cut and then I'm going to start bulking. Um, and then, you know, the running will come eventually, you know, like serious running, but I want to use my barefoot heels shoes and I want to run less than I was I guess because it caught up to me eventually or at least like plan out the days better so I can run better or you know like like run three days rest one day you know like if that would be enough um resting you know I want to get my my foot strength up you know so that's not the biggest factor I have to deal with you know of course there's always gonna there's always a limit people who run marathons, I don't, and like ultra marathons, like your legs are going to be dead by the end of it, you know, it, but they're as strong as they can be, you know, they're still going to be injured, but they're as strong as they can be, you know, and you know, it's probably not going to be the best to put on muscle mass if I want to be a runner, but I'm going to be more of a recreational runner. I'm still going to do races, but you know, I want to get a bit bigger, you know, I don't want to be crazy huge. I want to get a bit bigger. So, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of what's been on my mind. I ran today. I'm a bit backlogged on like the running prep videos. I think I'm like three behind. So I'm going to get those done tonight. And, um, yeah, it's kind of it, you know just been enjoying everything with my girlfriend I've had no complaints about her I've no com no complaints at all you know which I think is completely because I haven't been really nitpicky you know like I have a thought in my head and I come on the video and you know start talking about it for like 20 minutes when the thought only occurred for like a minute you know really like making something out of nothing you know I think it's just that you know and it's not that there's a problem and I'm choosing not to um you know start you know get it started there's just no problem you know um yeah question of the day because I haven't done that in a minute If you were to have or be the not not I don't mean like most skillful but like pick one field or skill that you would want to have that that you would want to master right because you know like you want to do something what I mean is like you know my grandma she's always like god I wish I could sing right she doesn't necessarily want to be the greatest singer ever, but she just wishes that she could sing and be good at it you know like pick something that you know maybe if you could redo your life or you know do something differently or you know maybe you could even start doing something about it you know a skill or a field that you'd like to master that you you'd like to do me probably be self-defense and that's something I want to do eventually um because I'm not a sport guy you know I'm running because you know track is a sport but it's not stupid, you know, like football, 
a lot of the skills that are needed in football translate meaning like you know you get really big and you get really strong but the game of football doesn't matter that's why I, I don't care to be a football player running is just running running the act of running itself is is good right and there really is no like rules of the game you just run um but self-defense is something where i'd see it more like i could be sporty about it you know maybe even be in you know having amateur fights or something one day i mean it'd be like a small little branch in my life it's nothing i'd probably like go far in just because I have other things that I want my life to be about. But it's, you know, something where, you know, it's something that it, again, not only is it great for you physically, you know, you get to help protect yourself, which is something that, you know, times are definitely better than they used to be in some cases, you know, violence still exists, but, you know, not as much it sounds like, you know, or at least not in where I live. Um, but it's still something, you know, you never know if you, you're going to need it or not. Or, you know, maybe you want to have that extra confidence when you're walking around. So when somebody does say something about you, or to you, you're like, well, I can beat his ass if I need to. You know, so maybe I'll, you know, stand up for myself or stand up for this other person, you know. And, yeah, I mean, obviously, they say, they say it, like, every time. Like, don't abuse the power. I wouldn't. You know, I but what I do feel like it give me it give me an extra layer of confidence, like I said. So I'd probably be more forward about certain things. I wouldn't have some certain anxieties. You know, I you know if someone's like doing something that pissed me off, I might just be like, yo, like what's up? You know, just because like I'd be like, well, I I'd probably have a better chance of beating his ass than he might think. You know, like let's just see what's up. Like talk my shit. You know. Anyways, I'm about to hop out of here. What am I gonna throw out? I threw out something yesterday, so. I'm gonna throw some things off off camera because I said I was gonna throw them out before, but I never did. Because I was gonna like just give them away instead, but like, I don't know, I just can't. Throw that out. We're running out of stuff, man, that's good. Yeah, my room is still fucking cluttered. You know, I've uncluttered certain parts of my room, like there, there. You know, there's still a bit more to go, like what you guys are on right now. My desk has stuff on it, but like nothing that, I mean, I'm going to like clear it off, but you know. Yeah, I'll, I'll move things, but I'm going to throw out... You know, there's probably gonna be something I won't throw out, but you know, my grandpa lives in Florida now, but back then he didn't. Um, yeah, so he sent me a little message in a bottle thingy from Florida, and you know, that right there says read note. So there's some like sand and stuff in here, like it's you know, it's something, but. I don't actually know what this note is. It said, it's, I think it's a happy birthday note, but I don't know, like, what it's about, so. How about we read it? <laughs> you know what? Now I am going to throw it out. Now I am going to throw it out. You know what, wait, ooh, hold up. Oh, those are like sandals. I want that. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's the strap. Picky. 
no, index. Thank you. Stop. Pen. I don't have tweezers anywhere, do I? Why would I? I don't want the sand to come out. Oh my god. I got it. Oh, please tell me it like opens. It's not going to, but. Oh, this is really old. And it's kind of broken. Yeah, I don't think it's really like, meant to come out. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe if there's a nice birthday note in there, I wouldn't have thrown it out. But, you know, fuck him. No, I love my grandpa. We're going to head out. Peace.